Previously. I'll come to. I would prefer if you didn't. Maybe I... What, like now? Yeah, you did a number on it before when you had a shower. Come on, I'll show you where the cleaning stuff is. Hey. Hey. Em. What are you doing here, mate? How are you? <laughs> Told you I'd be back. Well, how long can you stay for? Till dinner, if you want. Auntie Linda said it'd be OK if it was right with you. How does mac and cheese sound, huh? Yeah, sounds great. Awesome. I'll let David know he's going to be stoked to see you after his shift. Hey. Hey, didn't expect to see you again so soon. Oh, it must be your lucky day. Yes, it must be. <laughs> you coming in for a drink? Yeah, why not? I can dazzle you with my charm while you make me cocktails. OK, you're on. Have you spoken to Dippy yet? Yeah, uh, no. She must be a busy boo. Yes, sir. Have you ever considered that she might be busy buzzing around here? Why would you say that? I don't know. I just heard Hendrix and Mackenzie talking about the fact that he was up there, and I just... Sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. No, no, you didn't. It would make sense, though, that they saw each other, right? Like, I don't know. They seem like they've got unfinished business. But you don't need to dwell on that. That's your past. You've got to focus on your future. Exactly. Not to mention your present. Like me. Looking all gorgeous. Keen as a beam to watch you shake your tush and shake me to kill a Jenny. Okay, come on, get in there. Come on. <laughs> Look who I found wandering the streets outside. <laughs> Paul, hey. Hello, mate. Good to see you again. Hey, listen, any more trouble with Linda at home? Are they it's okay? Yeah, all good. Did you want to join us for dinner, Dad? There's heaps. Um, sure. Trace is working late. Why not? Oh, I forgot. I got you some new running gear. Come take a look. You didn't have to buy me anything. I'm going to be on one run with you. Hey, one pair of socks makes all the difference. Almost ready in here. Hey, Brent, do you mind taking this stuff out, please, and setting the table? Wow. Deja vu. You know, you're starting to sound like David and Aaron when I was here last. Oh, you know the drill, then. Come on, I'll help. Thank you, Emmett. You look a little put out. Do I? Hmm. Agreeing to let Brent stay here isn't backfiring on you, is it? Of course not. Anything for the guys. Yeah. I suppose you didn't really have a choice, did you? Be like me staying for dinner. Hope there's not going to be too much trouble. Oh, I'm sure I can manage chopping up a few extra salad items, Paul, especially considering I bought lots because I am eating for two. Mm. And it'll be nice. We can have dinner together as one big happy family. Ah, finally she picks up. Thought you might be avoiding me. Ah, no, no, I just, uh, just wanted to get an update on uh, what's going on with Jay. Yeah, okay, no worries. Yep, you just, um, I don't know, just call me back when you got more time, I guess. No, Dippy. Uh, yeah. Apparently she's in too much of a rush, getting ready for some dinner to uh, give me an update on our son. I'm sure she will call when she can, mate. Yes. Yeah. If it is only dinner. You know the piss is up there. Mm -hmm. No, I mean she wouldn't be seeing him. <laughs> it's over between them. Should we do something with the kids, mate? Yeah, maybe. Yo. David and Emma, are they back with dessert yet? Ah, sorry, man. David takes his ice cream selection very seriously. That's cool. It gives us time to firm up a solid plan for you tomorrow. What kind of plan? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. You know, you're going to get pretty bored if you play video games all day. I was actually hoping to get together with Brent and have a, a bit of a chat at some stage. About what? Oh, you know, life, the universe, <laughs> my education. You know I'm a teacher. Yeah, and you already know I dropped out of school. It doesn't mean that it's too late to go back or, or to try tape. Look, I'm cool, all right? Just call me when the ice cream's here. Was just 
looking at the moon. Okay. Good night. Good night. Wish Dippy had called me back after a dinner. I mean, hypothetically speaking, if the dinner was with Pierce, like, is that such a bad thing? You guys aren't together anymore. You're with me. Why don't we just change the subject? Are you jealous? No. No, no, I just, I, I just don't like the guy. But you're right. What Dippy does or doesn't do is none of my business. You are. Hey. Dip. Hey. So you're back early? What happened? Oh, well, uh, Jay settled in at mum and dad's faster than I thought. I just didn't want to crowd them. That's good. No other reason? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I couldn't talk last night. I was just running late. Oh, uh, uh, we should order. Yes, we should. Um, what were you thinking? Oh, it's a mate from NA. I should take this. Sorry. Well, I better get back to it. Hey, uh, Shane said that you went out for dinner last night. I did, yeah. With anyone special? Well, with my sister and her husband, so I suppose so. Oh, you didn't catch up with any other friends? Why have to do this. Do it. Try so hard to be nice. I've accepted that you and Shane are dating. Okay. And, and whilst I don't plan to get into an argument with you anytime soon, we don't have to be friends either. Fair enough. Please, I need to go. Yeah, yeah, all right, in a minute, just wait. No, no, pregnant woman says now. Come on, you've been in there longer than half an hour. All right, I'm on. What? Did I hallucinate our earlier conversation about you cleaning up after yourself? This was tidy, and now it looks like an army of wild ducks have moved in. Yeah, all right, David and Aaron don't care. That's because they're going easy on you while you get settled in, but don't take advantage of that, okay? You need to clean this up now. But I thought you just said you were desperate to go. Look, I don't want to be responsible for a pregnant bladder accident, now do I? I was going to call you later. Oh, well, now you don't have to. What's up? Uh, maybe we should wait till you're done and we can catch up over wine. Oh, that would be really nice. And um, I can fill you in on how intense Amy was before. I actually wanted to chat to you about something. I kind of caught up with Amy while you were away. Kind of? Yeah, well, Dad wanted me to, and she seemed keen. I didn't actually want to at the It's OK. It's all right. I saw her post. And I understand. Really? Yeah. Just because I'm not a fan of her doesn't mean I want to make things tricky for you or your dad. Thanks, Mom. No worries. Now, um, <clears throat> are we really going to catch up later, or is it just like kind of? Uh, yes. Push your head. Yes. <clears throat> hey. Oh, something in Sydney must have put your mum in a good mood. She's practically glowing. Oh, get away, I'll do that. Yeah, even one with Barry. <laughs> What does he want? I guess there's only one way to find out. I know I may have frightened you a little bit last night when I brought up TAFE, but really getting an education, whether it's vocational or, or otherwise, it, it would just open so many doors for you. Mm. Hey, you know, Hendrix had a bit of trouble with Year 12 last year, so he decided to go back to school just so he's got options, you know? That rich kid? He has money, and I don't. Jane, I fail everything. Just been a massive waste of time for all of you. 
I think what Jane is saying is that I'm that's going not... for a swing. Sorry. No, don't be. I understand that he um, he finds it all very, very confronting. As long as you both don't mind, if I keep trying. No, 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 not at all. And thanks again for all your help. Ready to eat my dust? No, but let's do it anyway. Bye. Where's Brent? He's just blowing off steam in the pool. But he's meant to be cleaning the bathroom. I don't want him to expect that I'm going to do it for him again. I don't think chores are high on his agenda at the moment. Well, they should be, because when Aaron and David took him in, they talked to him about showing respect, and he treats his house like it's a tip. Try to be more understanding. He's been through a lot, and especially with what happened to him when he was sleeping rough. He's feeling scared and, uh, and upset. Really, showing him a little bit of kindness isn't much to ask. Okay. Why did you ask Pierce to call me? Uh, I'm sorry. I did ask him not to mention me. What is going on? Why would you call him? You told Pierce I wanted to contact him, but I was unsure if I should. That's not true, is it? Of course it's not. I haven't contacted him since he left Melbourne, and I haven't wanted to. Why would you call him? It's, it's so stupid. I think you're going to have to give a better explanation than that, Amy. Look, you were so focused on the fact that Debbie didn't call you back, right? And then you recycled that poem that you wrote for her, and I just turned into this insecure monster, yeah. so... You decided to mess with us? No, I wasn't trying to mess with anyone. It's just I wanted you... I just thought if Dippy saw Pierce, then you would feel like she was moving on with her life and that... You could move on with yours too, with me. I can't deal with this. Shane. No. What are you doing? Shane, wait. <laughs> I see you survived eating Aaron's dust. Oh, yeah. He needed a drink to wash away the taste. Yeah, very <laughs> funny. <laughs> Sorry again about Brent. Oh, it's not my first rodeo with a, a school-resistant teen. I was actually wondering if it might be worthwhile getting in touch with his old principal. You know, there's, there's every possibility his academic records sound as bad as he thinks. Yeah, it can't hurt, I guess. Yeah, that'd be good. Thanks, Jane. Mm. Okay. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. Jane, I think what you're doing is really nice, but honestly, I wouldn't waste too much energy on that boy. Oh, well, a phone call isn't exactly a stretch. Yeah, but, yeah sure, sure, but, you know. Not exactly going to be able to monitor him long term, are you? This is a temporary arrangement. Very temporary, judging by Nicolette's attitude towards him at dinner. <laughs> We're all trying our best to be patient with him. Uh, patience isn't something that strikes me as being in Nicolette's wheelhouse. I thought you wanted to catch up for coffee. Yeah, I do. If this is just an excuse to, to badmouth her or to sniff out something that you can use against her, you're wasting your time. I know you and Nicolette aren't each other's greatest fans, but she has a big heart, which is something you would know if you were interested in looking. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. You do know her better than me, so. Are you kidding me? I know, crazy, right? Next level. I'm really surprised she'd do something like that. I wish I was. I've known Amy for a very long time. She has form, but um, oh, she's crossed the line on this one. I'm sorry. I'm, like, beyond sorry. And I know that it's, it looks bad. It was bad, but I was just trying to fight for us. By calling the guy my wife had an affair with and tricking him into contacting her. I know, it looks really intense and manipulative and everything, but it's not that. It's... I just... I like you so much. And I really think that we have the potential to be amazing together. How did she think this wouldn't come back to bite her? I'm not sure there was a great deal of thinking going on. I do not understand what your dad sees in her. I just didn't know how to bring it up. And, you know, I'm not sure that it would have made a difference. No one in your family is on my side, no one. 
We've talked about that. You're getting along better with Yash for you. You've been mates with Toadie for 20 years. Yeah, look, Yashby's great for giving me a chance. But Toadie is like die-hard Team Dippy. What? He basically told me to step aside so that you guys could get back together. He did seem pretty cut up when he left. Oh, that's an understatement. I don't see how things are going to go well between her and Dad now. Even though your marriage broke up for very good reason that had nothing to do with me. Your brother still thinks that I'm not right for you. And then I go and do something to prove it. I was just trying so hard not to lose you. That's exactly what I did. That sounds lovely, Mum. Thank you. Are you kidding? No, not you. Brent. He's trashed the bathroom again. He's got, he's got his clothes all over the floor and there's toothpaste on the basin. Yes, I know. Patience. Sorry, mate, it's probably best that it came out now. I hope you don't mind me being here. I just want to make sure you're okay. He's better than okay. <laughs> He's amazing. Dippy, I'm so sorry. There's no excuse. Sorry, they're happy tears. <laughs> Can you believe that he's forgiven me? You have. Yeah, we're going to work through it. Some people are going to need a little more time, I guess. You got anything you want to get off your chest there, Tony? Uh, I'm, uh, make a cup of tea or something. <clears throat> um, I'm a little confused, to be honest. I mean, what she did was pretty full on. It was, yeah. She's definitely not perfect. And again, neither am I. And I was always so aware of that with Dippy. I mean, she might have been the one to blow things up there at the end, and I was the failure, stuffing up all the way off. You weren't a failure. I think I was. Or at least I felt that way. But I don't feel that way with Amy. So, Toad, I, I don't need you weighing in, and I definitely don't need you telling Amy that you prefer that Dippy and me go back together. Yeah, well, I guess I'm just worried that you jumped the gun, that's all. I jumped nothing. Dippy's made it crystal clear that we're not an option. And Amy isn't some second prize. I don't need you saying things like that to her. It's just made her more insecure. Yeah. No, that's fair enough, I get that. Good. Because if you can't get behind this, then you need to stay the hell out of it. Friend. Look, Nicolette, if this is about the clean ice we're gonna order, no, can we just. It's a bit more serious than that. Found this in the pocket of your pants on the bathroom floor. Cleaning up after yourself is looking a little more worthwhile now, isn't it? <laughs> just a razor? No big deal. Not good enough. Okay. I got up after I was beaten and robbed. But I haven't used it or anything. It's just for my protection. If you don't need it anymore, you're safe with us. <laughs> you reckon? I mean, you all went to bed last night with the back door unlocked and the windows open. Is that what you were doing? Securing the house? Yeah. Aaron and David are not going to let anything happen to you. And, and neither am I, or Mum. No, 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 please don't tell the boys about the razor. I can't lie. Look, you don't have to, just... Don't bring it up. Oh, please, Nick, later on. I can't get kicked out. Coming up on Neighbours. Is there something going on between you and Brent? 
did you tell them? Sure, feel sorry for Levi. I'm sure he's hurting real bad. Maybe a kiss? No, no Levi, stop. Stay away from her. See, I reckon that's up to Harlow. You're gonna hear me and listen to me whether you want to hear it or not. 